So, y'all, really quick, whoever can type fast, I'm going to give you the 10 of signs of when you're suffering uh, from abuse from a narcissistic mother. Uh, I'll talk about children and father. I'm not going to just just the mama, but most people uh, suffer with it from either children or a mother. So I'm going to give you uh, the signs and then we can go from there. The first sign is she wants to control you. The second sign is her love is conditional. The third one is she can't or won't validate your feelings. Um, the fourth one is she belittles you. The fifth one is she tries to manipulate you. The sixth one is she thinks she is above the rules. The seventh one is she is unpredictable. The eighth one is it's all about how she how things look. Uh, the ninth one is she cannot see your point of view. And the tenth one is she is emotionally volatile. Okay. Her emotions are unstable. Uh, again, um, the example of the first one is she wants to control you. Um, a lot of people suffer with um, narcissistic mothers, but because they need their mother help, whether it's financially, whether it's a babysitter, whether however they mother help them. A lot of people uh, allow their mother to like mistreat them because they know they need them, and and because some mothers know that they take they abuse that authority. Um, I can give you guys a prime example. I I suffered with that for so many years um and i re i do remember something that i did i at the age of 28 i remember cutting that i remember cutting that feeling um and what i did was i never forget everybody when i i got a brand new car off the lot from my mom my mom paid for it it was brand new uh, my mother was exceptional in my kid's life and in my life, she did more than enough, way more than a lot of mothers would do for their children. She did that. And so I never forget when I had this paid for vehicle, um, whenever my mom would have hell in her, she would call me. You know how a lot she would call me and she would make me feel like doo doo. If she wasn't having a good day, she would call me and doo doo on my day. And I used to, because I, I wanted to always respect her, um, I used to allow her to make me feel bad all the time. Um, it would never be a time that really I would get a compliment from my mom. Um, she would just be like, you're getting fat. Yeah, I don't like that. Why are you doing that? Why are you? It was just, it was never anything positive until one day I just, I got tired of, swallowing my hurt i got tired of her uh handling me and so what i found myself doing i never forget i took that paid for a car now everybody was saying that was a blessing and it was a blessing because at the time i had the three kids uh my car had tore up on me and i needed another car so it was a blessing but i remember um how if she had hell in me or uh, I needed to tell her no I was busy doing something when she wanted me to do something she would make me feel uh less than because I, like I was wrong for disagreeing or just saying no I can't do something or whatever the case may be and so uh I never forget I got tired of that I, I went from not having a car payment I took that pay for a car and put it on the lot and I got my own car payment and I went from no car payment to having a car payment, but I wanted peace of mind so bad. I got tired of my mother making me feel like I owe her. I got tired of her making me cry. I, I got tired of trying to just make her happy when the brokenness in her issue has nothing to do with me. And I understand that when a, when 
any parent, life is just out of control and they're not happy. They tend to uh, control their children um, when they don't really have a life and, and, and when they don't really have the happiness they desire. They be very overbearing um, in their children's life. And a lot of parents don't realize that they are like that. And so uh, oftentimes the the it starts to do this right here because the older the child get sometimes if you're not careful um they become resentful and they come very angry because they can't put in the words how you make them feel and yes they need you so uh, I, I knew that my mother played a great part of my life but yet she made me feel like doodle um she you know i I, I, I never forget a man, a product guy came and told me, he said, you know what? You are real joyful until your mother come around. And that was the light bulb. He said, I don't know what it is, but I think you need to figure it out. And so when he told me that, it made me start dissecting. And he was right. You know, uh, if she would come into my business, she didn't like that I went to church. She didn't like if I played church music. She didn't like if I played rap music. She didn't like if I uh, had blonde hair. She didn't like if, you know what I'm saying, it, if, 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 you know, my butt is my butt. Like, she would be like, you're getting fat. You, you know, just file all negative stuff, but yet. I would see her celebrate other young women. Like, she's so pretty to me. She's this, she's that, but never say that to me. And so I know a lot of mothers um, that are like that. You know, you, you will celebrate others, but don't celebrate yours because you're so busy worried about what it looked like. So many people will call me about my children, but they are my children. Understand? And so at the end of the day, um, I'm not going to belittle them and I'm not going to try to control them because of the hand life dealt me. I don't, I, 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 I don't know about a lot of mothers, but I understand it's some mothers hate that their children has gone further or have accomplished more than what they had. Instead of you uh, being their cheerleader, you will start acting like a hater and a lot of parents are aware of that like I remember the time that I had to stop chasing I'm proud of you my parents I don't really hear you're doing good I'm proud of you it would always be you'll show up to tell me where I went wrong or or to chastise me or to do this and to do that but when it, when it was time to celebrate me you barely wanted to show up or, or, or you didn't want to show up because it was a celebration. Um, you will be looking forward to snatching my smile or to steal my joy versus to help me understand that. And so, uh, you know, you, you just can't celebrate the accomplishments of your child. And if you are a parent and you see that, it's not too late to get it right because oftentimes behaviors are passed down understand uh like i said i come from family members you know they you know uh a lot of people don't know how to say i love you understand and 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 but yet if your child not hearing i love you from them but yet they hear you tell someone in the streets i love you that 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 messes a child up and so um a lot of people think abuse is just this or being called out of your name no abuse also comes from a narcissistic parent that um when her life is out of control she mistreat who love her because that's the only thing she feel like she can control and a lot of children are broken hearted because of their mother beating them down with their emotions or their brokenness or their unforgiveness or how a man has left them in in a bitter situation and and the child have to deal with how their mother was hurt and how their mother was broken. Understand, oftentimes you don't hear the child out. It's do as I say, 
do as I do, how this going to look. You know, children make decisions, understand that. And a lot of mothers are worried about who going to see this and who going to say that. I never forget when someone thought they was telling on my child, but I had to let them know, I know. I wasn't going to be like, no, nah, I don't know that and got to call them. You, you letting people see that you do this and you letting people see that you do that. Guess what? They're mine. And all I could do is pray for them that the, the way I was prayed for. A lot of times people worried about what they say and they, they would try to force their children to live a false identity because they don't like the real them. But we have to accept the real them. And at least, you know, they're good. They're bad. They're ugly. Understand. And thank God that they come to you and not them have to go to other people. You wonder why they don't tell you you wonder why they don't come to you with their vulnerability how do you respond to them how do you treat them when they're coming to you with their nasty with their struggles with their strongholds with the things understand um that's that's foreign to you but they've been struggling with for a long time are you um trying to smother it because you're worried about who other people who children you think is better than yours so you you know you're ashamed you can't walk in shame when it come to your children because you would teach them to live a lie you would teach them that they gotta walk on eggshells when they come to you and you wonder why they lie to you how do you respond with their truth and so i would talk about this some more because it's a lot of people don't know they're abusers of their children understand because you think that you bomb jays you bomb heel figure you bomb polo you bomb a car you bomb this and that yeah you might give nice things but do you throw it back up i love you guys have an amazing afternoon Mwah.